So I have been asking myself this question for so long now. How come the seven gods that won the Archon War just so happened to be the gods that can manipulate each of the elements? Is the Archon War really happened or it is just a lie? And if it was a lie then what really happened during that time of the Archon War? Well, I will be discussing some questions with you guys regarding the Archon War. And yeah, this video is going to be very interesting and before starting off this video, I want you guys to like this video and subscribe this channel if you haven't. And now let's start so let's take venti first so as we all know that venti is the god of animo he has always been and he used to be an animo worship in the past so in the past tevat used to be the home to basically gods only not just elements the gods of everything then the archon war happened and all these gods fought each other until seven remained then venti ascended to celestia and became the archon of monster and was given the animo gnosis we all know that it's in the story right but what bothers me is why an animo gnosis specifically is it because he already is the god of animo but then if he was the god of uh, let's say void would there have been a void gnosis instead of an animo gnosis uh, strange right this then backs to the question what kind of power does the gnosis give we have seen and fought e who did not have a gnosis anymore at that time which meant we fought her original self with her own electro powers not the power she gains from the gnosis this does mean that e and my Koto were the twin gods of Electro, which proves even more that Zongli and Venti were the respective gods of Geo and Animo, and therefore did not need the Gnosis to control these elements. And since that is what they were the gods of in the first place, let's go back to Venti, who is now the god of Void. He ascends to Celestia, but is given an Animo Gnosis regardless. Does that now make him a god of Animo? Does he wield both Void and Animo powers? The issue is that according to Deep Lore, the seven elements have existed since the dawn of time well before celestia was created but then how come the seven gods that won the archon war are the seven gods that can manipulate one of the seven elements that's kind of strange don't you think we know there were havria who is the god of salt and ozail who was the god of vortex if these two would have won the archon war would there have been a salt and vortex elements too surely not since again the seven elements are the fundamentals to tevat and have always existed but yeah really all of this makes no sense it just can't be a huge coincidence that oh wow the seven gods that won the archon war happen to be the respective seven gods of the elements no 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 no. it does not make sense at all the only way that this can make sense is if the archon war was a complete lie made up by celestia to make all the gods kill each other so they can bring humanity to tevat or something along those lines and what makes even less sense is that i have never ever seen an event address this or am i just completely off track and out of touch with the lore i don't know but still there are things that need to be explained and if the archon war was a lie then it does not explain Xiao and the rest of the yaksha the entire group was formed to combat the aftermath of the war i don't think morax would go through the trouble of creating a painful karma that sends people crazy just to cover up a lie the geo daddy can't be that cruel especially considering we see that he kills for Xiao's well-being and he even sends him painkillers so there are a lot of mysteries about this and my conclusion is that the archon war may well have been fought over a lie or been otherwise loaded by celestia but it sure as hell did happen we have a truckload of evidence of it right down to Xiao's being literally still dealing with its effects but still there are many things that need to be explained about tevat the archon war and celestia what are they hiding there are clear a lot of things that is hidden about the Archon War and a lot of things that the Archon War needs to be uncovered. So maybe in the future we will be able to find out the truth behind the Archon War. I mean who knows. But yeah I think the Archon War was fought on a lie. I think the Archons are tricked because Celestia tricked them. But yeah this was just a theory and I have many theories too regarding the Archon War. If you guys want then I can explain them too in the next videos. And yeah comment down your theories about Genshin lore and if it's interesting then I will explain your theory in the next video and if you found this video informative or entertaining then give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel and now thanks for watching